Good morning and welcome back to North Dakota today. Well, the countdown is on to Turkey Day and joining me this morning, we have Blessed Sacrament Catholic Church. They're hosting their 45th annual Thanksgiving dinner and we have two members of the church here to tell us all about what it means. Good morning, Julie and Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, this is your 45th annual. You've been yes. doing it for a long time. Can you tell me what this is all about? It's it started off as kind of a oh we'll help people who don't have any who, who, who can't afford to eat mm -hmm. and it's turned into a community event where everybody anybody who wants to come have some fellowship be part of the community can come in and they can eat uh, they can have fun with people it's not just for homeless people or for people who can't afford food there are a lot of people who show up just because they enjoy the company and the, 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 the community of the day. Yeah, bringing everybody together on this day where you're supposed to gather. Right. I love that message. So how was your turnout last year? We, we, um, we served approximately 1,573 wow. meals. Um, we do um, work with Valley Senior Services for the Meals on Wheels and the um, people that are in Fargo that sign up, they, Valley Senior um, brings drivers and stuff and they pick up and then we deliver to the West Fargo, but otherwise it's either sit down or people can come for takeout and yeah, it ends up being a lot of people, a lot of meals. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> a lot it. Of turkey. So I have to ask, where do you get all this food? It's all donated. Really? We, we have, the only thing I bought last year mm -hmm. was bread to make the dressing. Only bread? Only, o only 140 loaves. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this year, one of, our, one of the KC members came to me and said, oh, I can get you some bread. So he yeah. brought us 140 loaves to cut up for make dressing. And I, well, since he donated that, I said, well, we'll buy the dinner buns from you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if he's paying for it or the company's paying for it, but he said, well, they're free. So he's bringing yeah. us 60 dozen rolls to go wow. with the meals. So not yeah, only so is the community coming together to share a meal, but also to donate. That's yes. fantastic. Well, and the majority of our donations come from our parishioners. Mm -hmm. So this year we asked for 100 turkeys. Mm -hmm. um, we're pretty close to that, I think. And then we asked for donations of corn, uh, cranberry, um, pies. Pies. Lots <laughs> of pies. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, I can't think of... What else? But yeah, everything is donated <laughs> and, yeah. and the parishioners are, you know, the ones that come to help, but we also mm -hmm. get a lot of help from around the area and further away. I've had multiple people um, call saying they know about our dinner mm -hmm. and they just want to be a part of it. So that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, if our viewers want to be a part of it, where and when can they head out to participate in the dinner? They get, <laughs> well, we start on Monday before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We uh, have to clean, clean all, defrost and clean all the turkeys, get them ready to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we start cooking turkeys on Tuesday and Wednesday and try and get the majority of them cooked and carved ahead of time. So we can always use help with that. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, uh, we try to make up 30 of the great big silver foil pans mm -hmm. of dressing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> It, and we have our, we, we try to have our high school um, youth groups come and help with that part. Yeah. Um, what's, what Steve didn't mention is that he gets a crew of our KC members and the Saturday before they cut all this bread. So the stuffing is completely homemade. It's not from bags that are pre-mixed. He dries out all the bread, they cut it all, and then it gets mixed up by yeah. our volunteers as mm -hmm. well. But if people do want to volunteer, they can call me at the church mm -hmm. ahead of time so that I know who's coming. But otherwise, we have had people walk in. That day we serve from 11 to two. Um, and we usually ask people to get there about 10.30 if they're going to. Okay, do you need yeah. a RSVP or anything beforehand? No. No. <laughs> we, just, we, we welcome anybody and everybody. Uh, 
over the years, some some years we've had more help than we know what to do with, but we find <laughs> we find something for everybody yeah. to do. Yeah, what a good problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>